All right, guys, this is the Hollyland Solidcom C1. It's a full duplex wireless intercom system with four headsets. One of the unique things about this is that it requires no belt packs, no base station or anything like that. It is connected with just the headsets themselves for the perfect intercom capability for various different scenarios. I'm gonna go ahead, unbox this first, show you some of the features, the key specifications, how to set it up and how it performs with using the headsets as a wireless intercom. Let's go ahead and dive straight in. Okay, let's go ahead and open this very nice heavy duty carry case. Just on the front, you have yourself the four headsets. So let me take out the first one here. This headset is 168 grams, which is incredibly lightweight, which will be super comfortable to give you all day usage. Let me show you the second headset, which is very similar to the first one. The only difference being, you'll notice with both of these headsets, one has a red color and the other one has a blue color. The red one here is referred to as the master headset, which will basically control all of the other three headsets. You have four in total in the box. This one is the slave headset, which is the one color coded in blue. You'll see there's a label just on the sides. So M for the master and the other three are labeled one, two, and three. Let me go ahead and show you what else is in the box. In addition to two other slave headsets, you have yourself the battery pack here. Now there's eight batteries that you can charge using this little battery base station. Once you have a full charge on the battery and it takes about two and a half hours to fully charge, you get a maximum working time of five hours for the master headset. But additionally, for the individual slave headsets, you get up to 10 working hours. And that will cover most of the scenarios that you're going to use this wireless intercom system for. Now there's eight batteries here, but there's four headsets. So if you have a full charge on all of them, then you also have a backup battery in case you run low on power for any of the headsets, which will give you more peace of mind of having a full day's worth of charge for using this wireless intercom system. Then you also have yourself the user manual, the quick guide. There's also some additional stickers, red and blue. So if you wanted to label them and set them up separately, then you can do that. The reason there's up to eight here is because you can connect up to a total of nine headsets, which would require a base station. If you don't need a base station or you don't want one, then you can connect up to six headsets in total, including the master without any base station involved or any hub. If we move into the accessories portion of this carry case, you have yourself the power adapter to charge up the batteries. There's some soft leather ear pieces to attach to the headsets. And then you have the foam sponge pieces that will go onto the existing headset and microphones. So that's the foam here and on the microphone part there. And then finally, you have yourself a USB-A to USB-C cable. This is not to charge the headset. This is actually to upgrade the firmware on the headsets. So plenty of accessories in the box to give you maximum comfortability. Now let's dive in a little bit more about the headsets themselves. Now a few other key specifications about these headsets is that this operates with a clear wideband from 150 hertz up to seven kilohertz of frequency response, which I think is a very great response rate. This also operates up to 1000 feet range in a clear line of sight. So that's roughly around 350 meters and I will test that range, I'll head outside and I'll use this as an example to showcase to you guys if it does cut off, how is the audio and how's the performance in the signal strength. So we will test that. But having that range, I think will cover most different situations of why someone would need a wireless intercom system like this. And finally, it has something called DECT 6.0. That's a security feature, which stands for Digital Enhanced Cordless Telecommunications version 6.0. That basically prevents interference from other wireless technologies. And also what that means is no one can interfere with your transmission on a certain frequency and they can't listen in. So this makes it very private and very secure, no matter what you're doing for it. 
I think a system like this is very beneficial for media production teams that are out doing filming and shoots that are very distanced from each other. The reason you have a master is because there would be one person that's kind of directing the whole operations. So that person will be communicating with the three other headsets. If you have a team of four, you can go up to a maximum of six without a you know hub involved. Or if you go to up to nine headsets, then you would need a hub. But essentially that would be the same situation where you have someone as the master that's you know powering and, and doing all of the key communications amongst all of the other headsets. But it's kind of like a walkie-talkie, but a more advanced and a very well-built one at that. So let's dive in now a little bit closer about the headset, how to set it up, how to use it. Okay, so taking a look at the headset, of course, this is your microphone piece. Depending on which ear you want to use this on, your left or your right ear, this actually swings both ways. So you can go to the left or the right. So whether you are more comfortable having this on one side of the face, this is very easily adjustable. This also has an auto mute mechanism. So when you want to mute yourself, you simply just swing it up, you'll hear a slight click and that will mute your microphone. To start talking again, you simply swing it down and your voice becomes active. There's also an LED indicator that will light up here on the microphone piece. I'll showcase that in example, but this will light up green when it's paired and you are active. Button wise, you have yourself the plus and minus, which are the volume controls. The A button is required to pair any additional headsets that you may purchase outside of the kit that you already have. So for example, I have a kit of four headsets. If I buy a fifth one, I can pair it by pressing this button for about five seconds and connect to that itself. The B button is to pair with a base station or a hub if you are connecting up to nine, but in this case, this will not be required. It's very straightforward and very simple. Just on the bottom there is the switch to turn the headset on and off. On the right hand side, you have yourself the USB-C port. This is not to charge the headset. This is only to upgrade the firmware of the headset whenever you need to, and you can use the supplied USB-C cable to do that. On the battery compartment, this is where you will flip open the compartment here. You just switch to unlock and it slides open and there you will slot the battery. So let me go ahead and do that now for each of these headsets. So I have charged this full and you do get an LED indicator on the battery pack. So it's amber when it's charging and when it's fully charged, it will switch to green. It clips directly into place and there you have it. So now let's go ahead and turn both of these on and keep an eye out for the LED indicators that are on the microphone pieces here. So you've got one there and one there. I'm gonna turn on the master first. There, you can see it's on. Let's turn on the other one. It's blinking. And you get a verbal confirmation in the earpiece that connection has succeeded. Both of them are solid green. Now they are ready to use and you can do the same with the other headsets in the carry case. All right guys, so now we're going to test out the 1000 foot or 350 meter range on this headset. So this is a national park that I'm just standing in. Right down there in the distance is actually measured 350 meters, almost exactly. So I've got a team that's with me behind the camera and I'm gonna be asking them to take a walk all the way down there and I'll be communicating with them at the same time using my master headset. One thing that I also wanted to just mention to you guys with the master headset is if someone from my team is 1,000 feet that way, someone else from the team can be 1,000 feet the opposite way. Those two people are 2,000 feet away from each other, but they will still be able to communicate to me absolutely fine because I am the central hub for this master headset and I have basically a 1,000 foot radius in a circle all around me for wherever the other people with the other headsets would be. So let me go ahead and get started with showcasing to you guys how the audio still comes out at that range. All right guys, so I've got my teammate there and she's gonna start walking all the way down to the end of this trail. Just to test to see if the audio is coming out, I've asked her to give me a call on my phone, but I will have it muted. And once it's muted, she won't be able to hear anything that I'm saying through the phone, only through the headset. And she'll be communicating back through her phone and hear her from my microphone how good the audio still comes out at various different stages of this distance. So let's go ahead and make that phone call. And I'll showcase to you guys. So now 
I've answered it. I'm going to mute. And cameraman behind the camera, can you see that's muted? Yes. Okay, cool. So now, teammate, you can start walking all the way down towards the end and give me random updates, maybe at the 100 meter mark, then the 200 meter mark, 300, and finally, when you get to the bench right at the back, that will be 350 meters. Yep, I can still hear you clearly. Just make sure you're closer to your phone so it picks up by my lavalier microphone. I can still hear you quite clear. Cool. Yeah, everything's sounding clear. The audio is actually very similar to a phone call as well. But it's more like a walkie-talkie voice, which I think sounds a little bit clearer. And you can also adjust the volume if it's too loud or too soft. How about, how about now? Yep, everything's still sounding clear. Whereabouts are you now? Meter-wise, do you reckon that's... I reckon about halfway. Halfway, okay. Yeah, it's actually quite a long walk. We were carrying this equipment from that end all the way over to this end, 350 meters, so it took a few minutes. Yeah, I reckon that's about 250 meters where you are. So far, there's no dropouts. Everything still sounds clear to you, right, for me? Yep, yeah, absolutely. At least the sun has come out. Okay, I'm at the end now. Okay, so that's 350 meters. And you can still hear everything I'm saying, right? Yep. Yeah. Exactly the same as before. Oh, wow. I'm just wondering, like, if you go another 50 meters back, make it 400 meters, past the person with the dog, another 50 meters. Still the same quality. Wow, that's crazy. I give you a wave, I'm not sure you can see me. I can see you. Teammate two, can you see her on the camera? Yep, I can see her. Okay. She got confirmation she can see you on the camera that you are waving. Wow, that's about 400 meters. So, the, you know, we really pushed that 1,000 feet mark. So that's really good. Teammate two, if you zoom all the way back out. Yep, and I'll come and quickly show you. I'm still muted. And I've got teammate number one that's done that walk still on mute. So, you know, that distance for me is incredible and it's no wonder this is such a premium set of headphones by Hollyland and I can't find any faults with this to be honest. I personally won't see myself doing any type of filming at this extreme range. If you're, you know, maybe in a massive Hollywood production or if you are maybe on a runway where you are racing cars, then you might have people, you know, using this at a distance like that. But there could be various scenarios that cover this. But for me personally, I think this is something that for anyone that just needs a great intercom system to coordinate with various different teammates, this is the one to get. I will definitely recommend you guys check out the link in the description for this. And if you have any questions about any other capabilities of this, let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But for me, it's a complete two thumbs up. And now let's head back indoors to finish off. So you see guys, that worked perfectly fine and I was so confident that this would work so good outdoors in such a long range because I've tested a lot of Hollyland products in the past and they have been very premium quality and have never let me down and they've you know pretty much always worked out of the box and that's the key thing with this one it's so easy to use so even if you're a novice user that are not familiar with intercom systems and you don't know how this type of thing works then you wouldn't need to worry about that because literally it's just you taking the headset out of the box, putting the battery in, turning it on, they're automatically paired, start communicating with all of your team and you're ready to go, that's it. There's nothing else to it. And the fact that you can customize this by adding additional headsets if you need to later on down the line, that makes it even more better because it gives you a little bit more 
peace of mind knowing that if your team expands, you can always cover that additional usage by just getting another headset and pairing it very easily by pressing the A button on there for five seconds, connecting it to your master and you're up and running. What more do you want? But above all else, you know, for me personally, this offers a highly portable and hands-free coordinating experience for media production teams or any team looking for real-time non-blocking voice communications and for any team that's required to operate in various distance to working scenarios. So that's it guys. Check out the link in the description. The four pack comes in just under $1,000. You may think that is quite expensive, but the quality of the product that you get and the set of features and capabilities that this can do, if you are a large production team, this is definitely worth it. And I recommend you guys check it out. It's brand new, it was released very recently. So I don't see anything competing with this on the market right now. Of course, there's a lot of intercom systems that exist, but some of them and most of them will require a base station or a belt pack or you know a bit of fiddling about to connect everything together. This eliminates all of that and just makes it so easy to use. If there's anything you guys want to know about this system, drop a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. I have new videos out every week with cool tech just like this. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those ones. And I'll catch you guys at the next one. Take care.